Lester Holt, this, I guess I can tell this story, Lester Holt came to do a piece from the memorial. I'd never met him before, very impressive, just really was amazing, very you know, skilled. And, and we walked through the memorial, it was fine, it was totally good, he was totally appropriate. Uh, but it was very, you know, professional. And when we got to the end of it, I said, well, let's go into the park where the monuments are laid horizontally. He said, oh, I don't think we have time for that. And the producer was like, oh, no, we don't have time for that. We've got to get going. So, well, we're here. You're probably never going to be here this close. Why don't we just go? And he said, no, I don't. I said, no, come on. And I said, where are your people from? Mm -hmm. And he said, my family, my mother's family is from Tennessee. And I said, do you know the county? He said, let me just text. So he texts his mom. She gave him the county. And I said, make sure you have the family names. So we got these two family names. So we walked into the, to the park area. I said, here it's laid out alphabetically. We went over to Tennessee and he found his county and both of his family names were on the monument. And he just started sobbing. And he was trying to call his mom because he, was, he wasn't sure what she knew and he couldn't call, and he was literally sobbing mm -hmm. and the camera's running over and he's putting his hand up and we did the rest of the interview from there the whole time we were talking he had tears running down his face mm -hmm. and i liked him before but i really liked him <laughs> after that <laughs> and i just think if you can create an environment where people have the opportunity to have an insight or a reflection or even an emotion that they haven't had that's that's really important i mean the question becomes which of these incidents drove my people out of the county you know, what, which of exactly. these things, I mean, you could start looking at dates and find out when families left that community. Yes. And they can tell you the story about that person whose name is on that monument. Mm -hmm. um, this amazing woman that we've honored a couple times, um, uh, Mamie Kirkland, seven years old, Ellisville, Mississippi. Her father comes home and says, we've got to go. They're going to lynch me and my friend because my friend was standing too close to a white woman. And he gathers the family. They literally run to the train station, get on a train, leave for St. Louis, never go back. Her father's friend goes back. The mob gets him and they lynch him. And it was one of these famous lynchings because they actually advertised when the lynching was going to take place. Uh -huh. And they had a newspaper, 10,000 to burn Negro. So when we did our report, we actually put that newspaper in the report. She grows up, she has several wonderful children. Uh, her, one of her sons is kind of an historian and he got our report, is reading it and he sees Ellisville, Mississippi and he knows that's where his mother is from. Mm -hmm. and so he goes to his mom and says, mom, I'm reading about this lynching, but this man named John Hartfield, she could never remember the name of her father's friend. When he mm -hmm. said the name, he said, she said, that's the man. Mm -hmm. And he started reading and she, he said she got so emotional that he said, well, they're inviting people back to these communities. And he says, I think I should go. And she said, well, if you're going, I'm going to go with you. She'd never come back to Mississippi. She came back to Ellisville. Kier was there to meet her and her son. Uh, and when she came to Ellisville, she was 108 years old. And they went to the site. And they had this prayer and they had this moment and we have subsequently done the soil. We honored her in New York and then she came to the opening last year. Oh, yeah, she, she was, at, you know. She, she was one of the elders. Yes, exactly, came that yes. came on stage. She's mm -hmm. still going strong. She turns 110 mm -hmm. uh, in a couple of months. But she pulled me aside and she just said, you know, I now realize this is why God wanted me to live this long. And then she said, she said, I didn't appreciate how burdened I've been my whole life by what happened to us. Mm -hmm. She said, but when I went to that memorial, I walked through this memorial and I went to that site and we put that jar, soil in the jar. She said, I felt like I could lay my burdens down. Mm -hmm. And to create an environment where those kinds of things happen, we have to be attentive to what people's needs are. And for me, that's the, that's the power of these places and um, that's kind of at the heart of, of what we're trying to achieve, you know, mm -hmm. what we're trying to see.